Back on January 12th, I did a video um, concerning ice conditions um, and what it could look like for our sturgeon spearing season here on Lake Winnebago this year. Um, primarily um, of interest for the House in the Woods uh, veteran sturgeon spearing retreat participants that were coming in from other areas of the country. Some of these people had never even been on ice, so, and, and we were getting a lot of questions about what the ice conditions were going to be and everything. So at the time I did that video, we were in the midst of the second snowstorm of that week, and all told between the two snowstorms, we got 20 inches or a little bit more of snow. Um, we did get the polar blast behind that. Um, it lasted for about, you know, a week. Um, they had been forecasting, you know, like 10 days and possibly a little bit more, but it lasted about a week. Um, and we still had cold weather after that. And all told, we ended up with like 11 to 13 inches um, of ice. The problem was, is a lot of that ice was questionable ice. Um, you may have seen John Jenkins from Pipe Fishing Club um, do a video with Angie where he cut some chunks out of the ice and he had them on his tailgate and he was explaining the different kinds of ice. Now you had the black ice, which is your best, and then he showed the different samples of, you know, how much snow ice can be in there. Well, after that cold weather, we could see that there was warm weather coming in behind, so we were concerned about what was happening with the ice. So last Friday, um, John and myself and another one of the um, volunteers, Jeff Bierschbach, went out and we went to the spots where John had checked the ice prior to that and we rechecked it. And for the most part, we had maintained ice. Um, there was one spot where we lost an inch, but the bad news was is everything was starting to get soft. Even the black ice was soft. I've got an Eskimo 8 inch auger, 40 volt. Um, I was on 13 inch, or that was 11 inches of ice, and it took me like two to three seconds to go through that ice. And the, the chips didn't come, it wasn't ice chips that was coming up, it was more like a snow cone material, which is not good. Um, at one point, uh, Jeff and, and I and John had stopped. Um, we had two side-by-sides and a, a four-wheeler. And uh, we were talking, we were there about five minutes, and all of a sudden we could see water starting to come, you know, was forming on the ice where we were. Um, so that means that the ice is soft, it's flexing, and it's, it's allowing water to come up. So that night we had a meeting between the volunteers and Angie, and we decided to cancel the uh, veterans retreat um, just for safety reasons. We're always going to err on the side of safety and from all the reports we were getting and the forecast, the weather forecast really was not good. I mean there, it's Wednesday, the following Wednesday, it's five days after we had the meeting. Um, they're still calling for another 10 days of 40 degree weather and, and up. There's some days where it's, it could possibly get close to 50. And, um, la you know, I'm seeing reports that now the top three to four inches of ice are very soft and it's honeycombing from the bottom up. And um, one guy did put out a uh, video this morning, you know, saying he had been out checking ice yesterday and he was actually canceling all the um, trips, the client's trips that he had for the rest of the season just because the ice is not safe. So um, he also had talked about a spot that he had found where it was like a a hole in the ice about the size of a quarter and it didn't look right so he went over and they were looking at it and they drilled a hole there and what they found out was that hole that come through the ice that was the size of a quarter was considerably the ice was actually eroded away underneath it a much bigger area and it's like he said a vehicle wouldn't go down there but you could drop a tire of an atv or a utv in there and you know you're going to do damage to your your um, equipment and you know you could possibly get hurt yourself because you're going to stop pretty quick if you drop a tire in there so um like i said you know we decided not to to have the event you can see today it's sunshiny we've got a southwest wind uh, it, that's really going to do some damage to the lake um, you can see the water running off the roof here and actually the snow that's above here you can see um, that area 
after the snowstorms had probably 24 inches of snow that had actually drifted over the top and you know in a little over a week there's maybe three or four inches in that one little section uh that's that's all the snow that's left so you can tell things are are you know melting at a very quick pace so the only thing um, that I can say is, like I said, there's going to be people that are probably going to go out there spearing, and I'm not going to say the the entire um, sturgeon spearing season is is gone, but um, I know a lot of people have already decided they're not going to be going. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get, you know, even if we got some cold weather, I don't know that we can you know, save the ice anymore, just because the shorelines are really going to take a beating. That's that's the worst part of it. But even on the main lake, um, I don't know, because the other part of this, this equation is, is we're losing our snowpack. And if we don't have a snowpack, we can't get sub-zero temperatures because the earth releases too much heat. So you'll get cold, but you won't get the sub-zero temperatures. So it's not looking good, you know, looking at all the the forecast and what's all happening around you know around us um, it's not looking good um, I know a lot of the guides are already getting their boats out and they're getting ready to just start doing some river fishing but um, we still have a lot of winter left here and um, you know I'm sure we're going to get some cold weather but again I just seen a thing this morning they're saying it's supposed to be an early spring so we'll see how much they uh, they know so I guess I just wanted to put this out there so that people understood why we canceled and you know some of the other um, things that help us decide whether we do this or not. So I guess we're going to have to wait till next year and hopefully Mother Nature decides to give us enough ice to do the event. It's a house in the woods built on kindness and love, a place where you can do no wrong. Well, this house is a family that will suffer beside you Give you faith when you can't carry on Oh, you deserve to feel good So come to the house in the world Thanks for your service all that you gave the next journey and start right here leave the guilt and the shame the fear and the pain and allow yourself to heal